Welcome. In front of me is a Oppo A15 and today I will show you a couple tweaks and tricks you can do, do, on, do on this device. And to get started, we're going to begin with the dark mode which can activate, I believe, through notification panel. Yep, and there it is, a toggle. You can simply tap on it and this will turn on system-wide dark mode, uh, which includes also things like your default applications. So as you can see, dialer, messages, Facebook, that's kind of weird, this isn't actually affected. Let's see, Chrome, settings, notifications. So yeah, you can see everything is primarily, most of the things are in like dark mode. Now moving on to the next option, it's gonna be the smart sidebar, which you might have occasionally seen or realized that it's there. So I'm gonna quickly show you what I'm talking about before I actually go, which is literally like the least visible thing here, but it's right here if you can see it. So you can grab it over, it kind of extends. For some reason it works a little bit slowly. You can see it me that I can drag it over right now, up and down, move it to the other side. So what you can do actually is pull that out and this brings up a couple different shortcuts for you to utilize. So you can have application shortcuts right here which can be accessed uh, basically in any kind of application. You have also screenshots and screen recording. I believe you can also open up a there we go a split screen window right here which will bring me to next option which is split screen but not with this uh, on top so let's go to the split screen options which i do advise you to start off if you're planning to use uh, youtube and your split screen options if you're using youtube start off with it it will help you out a little bit it will open that application on the top which also allows you to basically close off any kind of application go home and do whatever you want while youtube will be still able to play whatever is playing in there even though it's like super minimized and not actually right now in a functional split screen it will still uh, keep playing music now while this is enabled i'm also gonna turn on something else now i don't have a connection right now but it still shows you the general functionality of it so you could be playing video right here and do whatever you want uh, for instance on your browser and when you go home it continues to keep it open now anyway moving on to the next option it's going to be the uh, what they call icon pull down gesture so what it is in a way it's just a one-handed mode but done a little bit better uh, more conveniently so as an example, you can see right here, we have all applications on the top. And if you're holding the hand normally in your hand, it's quite difficult to reach all the top without actually using your second hand, right? Or trying to rearrange your hand position. So what you can do here is basically on the edge of the screen, swipe up. And as you can see, it literally moves the icons all the way for you to easily reach them. And without actually lifting up your finger, you can select which kind of application you want to open and then let go so you basically hover over it and then you let go and it will automatically open that application fairly nice function uh, as i mentioned before uh, what i would say an improved version over the um, one-handed mode because it allows you to access it only when you need it for instance you might not need it here and it doesn't really shrink the display itself just allows you to reach it uh, easier for that specific application that you want to open. Uh, now, anyway, going to next option, it's actually, well, touching back up on one other option, which is the split screen, uh, which I kind of forgot about, um, which you can do with split screen apart from well, opening it up as you just seen me do at the beginning, which is by tapping on the three dots with an application that can be open in split screen. I have right here what you can do is open that application and using three fingers swipe up and it automatically opens into this split screen which is fairly nice now there is also a shortcut for uh, three fingers for a screenshot by swiping down if that is something that you would be looking for now anyway this would conclude uh, all the tweaks and tricks that i wanted to share with you and if you found this video helpful don't forget to hit like subscribe and thanks for watching Thank you.